Hey everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender at Parnassus Books. And um, the world is a hard and complicated place and that's true just about every week and we don't say anything about it because we sell books. But um, this week I just have to say it's been really hard for all of us and all of you and um, all of us who love our children and so that's just it. I just want to say uh, to everybody, we're, we're thinking about you and we um, sincerely urge our legislators to focus on things that can help children be safe. So there you go. Um, it just seems strange to say it, but it seems stranger not to say it. Moving on, June 14th, my friend Geraldine Brooks is gonna be here in the store with her this fabulous book, Horse, which is going to be our first editions club pick. And I loved it and I love Geraldine. She's won the Pulitzer, she's a terrific person. And if you're interested in horses or just a great novel, please, please come and join us at the store, register online. I probably will say this a few more times because I really want to have a great turnout for this event. And this is my week to talk about collections of essays. The Flag, the Cross, and the Station Wagon, Bill McKibben, looks at our country to figure out what's going right, but also how things broke apart and what's going wrong. I, I'm just gonna be a total downer today. Um, embrace fearlessly the burning world from Barry Lopez, who's a writer I just wildly admired, almost as much as I admire Sparky. Uh, and Barry Lopez died in December 2020, and so this is his posthumous essay collection and really wonderful pieces on the natural world and the environment. And then if you want to throw out absolutely everything that's serious, turn to David Sedarius. <laughs> David Sedarius. It's like, it's like a cross between Sirius and Sedaris. David Sidereus. He would like that actually. Happy go lucky, um, nothing reverent, nothing serious, really funny, everything out the window. He's going to be in the store too. And not a book of essays, but a book of short stories, strangely enough, by John Grisham, bringing back some of his most beloved characters in a really sharp looking book. So everybody is going to want to grab that for Father's Day. All right, Lindsay, cheer us up. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Um, Hi, Barnabas. I've got some fiction picks for you this week. Um, up first, I have a book that I will tell you the real pub date of. It is next week. It does not come out today. But we do have an event for it on Monday, which Elise will give you some details about. Woman of Light by Colleen Fajardo Anstein. This is our June 1st edition's pick. Um, I am so, so looking forward to this event because I have to confess to you all, Kali and I went to the same MFA program and I fully use my powers at Parnassus that if anybody who went to my MFA program publishes a book, we will have a launch party for them and I will rave about their books, first of all because their books are great, um, but also because I want to share these wonderful writers. This is Kali's debut novel after a award-winning short story collection, Sabrina and Karina, came out a couple years ago. This is historical fiction. It is so, so stunning. Um, 1930s Denver. Anyways, I could go on for a long time about this book and how much I love it. Elise will tell you the details about our event on Monday, but in the meantime, Woman of Light. Speaking of pub dates, this book actually comes out today. <laughs> the Latecomer by Jean Hamp Gorlitz. Um, we talked about it last week. It's actually out today. We have copies on the floor. Another book I'm excited about that comes out today, Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour. Uh, we have a couple of signed copies of this one. It is a wonderful novel about two women who come in and out of each other's lives and find each other and fall in love. Um, it's about grief, it's about struggles with addiction, um, but it's also about love and it's gorgeous. Check it out. If you want something a little bit light, we have a new Emily Giffen out today, Meant to Be. And if you want something a little suspenseful, uh, Deep Water by Emma Bamford is out today. This one is about a couple that goes on a yachting excursion, something goes wrong. Um, Emma has worked as a crew member on various ships, so this is written from life experience, though she 
to my knowledge, did not get trapped on an island. And up next, we've got Elise talking to us about events. Hello, everyone. All right, tonight we have gotten Jay, we've got Jay Farrell. Now, Jay, we had to postpone, reschedule. Folks, tonight is the night. And Jay lives here, he's a photographer. He's really an exceptional talent. This is Abandoned Tennessee. And it's just, it's an amazing book. It's photography, it's some narrative. And these are just old abandoned roadside gems. And it's a wonderful book. It's gonna be a great event. So, and it's free. Go online, register, grab your seat and have fun with us this evening. And then tomorrow, I don't have a book to hold up because tomorrow we're doing, uh, we're helping with a fundraiser for the Nashville Adult Literacy Council. They are such a terrific local nonprofit. I don't know if you know, but one in eight Nashville adults is functionally illiterate. It's a staggering thought. And NALC does everything they can. They provide English classes and reading and writing and volunteer opportunities. And we're so happy to help them. So tomorrow, come buy books between six and seven. That's all you have to do is buy some books and some of the proceeds go to help NALC. Then Thursday, we, uh, we have Jonathan Martin here. So this will not pass. Trump, Biden, and the battle of America's future. If you've been on social media or been watching any TV at all, you've probably seen uh, Jonathan Martin and Alexander Burns. Well, on Thursday, you get to be up close and personal with Jonathan Martin, political correspondent and analyst, in conversation with John Meacham. So this is a ticketed event, which means you get to buy the book and he will sign it for you as well. So that's Thursday in the store, 6.30, ticketed event. And what else do we have? I do want to, Rayanne will talk about something that's going on on Saturday. But as everybody mentioned, June 6th, we're gonna have Kali Fajardo and Steen in conversation with Destiny Birdsong, which is gonna be wonderful. I think that Lindsay mentioned she is our first editions club pick. It's an incredible book. So again, go online and get your, um, get your seat reserved. It's free, but just go online and register. And then of course, Geraldine Brooks. I read this uh, horse. It is one of my favorite books of the year. So this is on the 14th and then on June 13th is David Sedaris. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing lineup of events. Go on our website, check it out. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Rayanne. Thanks, Elise. Hi, everybody. We have two June first edition club picks out today that I wanna share with you. The first is our new Parnassus Next pick. It is Kings of Be More by R. Eric Thomas. This is a fun LGBTQ friendship story. Think Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Two boys have a great day in their hometown of Baltimore right before one moves. And for the Sprout Picture Book Club, we have To Make by Danielle Davis and Mags DeRoma. This is a book celebrating making things. It's all about collaboration and creation. And our very good friend, Jamie Sumner, has a new book out today, The Summer of June. I loved this middle grade novel. It's about a girl whose mom is a librarian. It's the beginning of summer. June deals with anxiety, so she decides to start the summer by shaving her head, and her mom does too in solidarity. June spends her days at the library where her mom works, where she battles the head librarian and takes on a secret project. So if that sounds good to you, on Saturday, I hope you'll come to the store and meet Jamie. She'll be signing books between 2 and 3 p.m. and you can pick up a signed copy. A YA book that's out today, Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. This is a book about a girl who's a flamenco dancer who must turn into a dragon hunter to save her family's legacy. And Isabel will be here next week with Stephanie Garber. I hope you will go on the website and register for this event. 
and also we have a lot of great kids in YA events coming up in June, including next Monday we have a virtual event with Brian Kennedy for his new book that comes out next week, and we'll have two story times in June that you'll want to go home on the, red, on the website and register for on Saturday mornings. Thanks for listening and thanks for shopping at Parnassus Books.